Hi everyone, my name's Lauren and I'm one of the criminology tutors here at Blackpool 6. I'm going to record a short video for you to give you um, a better understanding of criminology and what the subject entails. We're then going to do a criminology based activity so that you can engage with the subject and experience the type of projects we complete as part of the course. So I hope you enjoy them. To our criminology taster event. My name is Lauren and I'm one of the criminology tutors here at Blackpool 6. I hope to give you an introduction to the subject and an idea about the type of content, learning and assessment that we deliver. This session will also involve a sample of students talking through their recent work and some activities for you to engage in. So what is criminology? Criminology is obviously focusing on crimes, the type of crimes that are committed each and every day. We explore the motives behind them, the legal and justice system that deals with them and the victims they affect. This subject not only builds your knowledge of the law, policy and criminal cases, it also develops many transferable skills. Through your study of criminology, you will learn to research, evaluate, scrutinise and debate, assess and justify arguments and opinions on a number of topical issues. Here at Blackpool 6, we have an experienced and specialist team to help support you through your learning. We are passionate about teaching criminology and seek to engage, educate and develop inquiry-led learning. So what would the course look like? Over the two years, both year 12 and year 13, you will study four units. As you can see from the table, in year 12 you study unit 1, changing awareness of crime and unit 2, criminological theories. These two units combined account for 50% of your overall grade. Unit 1 is assessed by what we call a controlled assessment. It's a formal assessment set under exam conditions, yet you get to take your, um, your class notes into the exam with you. It's obviously about what you do with these notes, how you interpret the information and apply the information to the specific tasks and questions. Unit 2, however, is assessed via an external exam. The exam lasts an hour and a half and usually takes place in May and this equates to 25% of your overall grade. Then in year 13, the course follows a similar pattern whereby you study unit three, crime scene to courtroom. This is assessed then again by a controlled assessment, followed by unit four, crime and punishment, which is assessed by an external exam. Your final award for the course is a level three applied diploma. And this qualification is equivalent to the same number of UCAS points as a traditional A-level. In terms of future destinations and where criminology could take you, it's obviously a varied subject and there are lots of different career paths that you could choose to go down. You can see some of the um, options here. So a lot of our students maybe go to work within the police or the probation service. Some are looking to go into the field of social work, but there is also the opportunity for um, positions within local government, maybe as a political analyst or a social researcher. Many of our students are using uh, criminology as a stepping stone to progress to further education at university. Some of the courses that you might be keen to pursue are a Bachelor of Arts in Criminology. You could also consider subjects such as social policy or politics. And criminology aligns nicely with subjects such as criminal justice, law and sociology. And you can see that many um, universities offer such courses. The Criminology um, Level 3 course also ties in nicely with the new Police Constable Degree Apprenticeship, um, which we are happy to give you more information about. This is the first year that we have offered Criminology at Blackpool Sixth Form College. You can see here when we surveyed students anonymously about the course um, in their first half term, 
that 96% of students reported that they were enjoying their studies. Um, and there you can see some of the comments that our students have made about the course. So what do we study at Blackpool 6 in criminology? Here on the slide, you can see an example of some of our lessons. So these are some of the lessons from our unit one. And in unit one, we analyse different types of crime. We focus on the different tip, uh, types of offenders, typical victims. We look at the levels of public awareness and we identify unreported crimes and investigate the reasons for and consequences of these crimes not being reported to the police. We then go on to look at the impact of the media. So we focus on media representation of crime. We examine newspaper reporting, fictional crime dramas, as well as the influence of social media. We study a range of high profile cases that have shaped the public perception of crime and identify the various impacts these reports have had. As part of Unit 1, we also focus on what we call campaigns for change. So we investigate high profile campaigns that were initiated as, as a result of tragic murders, such as the case of Sarah Payne and Claire Wood. Yet we also look at contemporary examples, such as the recent Marcus Rashford campaign supporting free school meals. Following on from this, um, and as part of our controlled assessment, we compare and contrast a range of existing campaigns and evaluate their strengths and weaknesses. We then apply this knowledge to the task of creating our own campaigns for change with a focus on underreported crimes. Students get to plan, create and justify their campaign, designing supporting materials such as leaflets, merchandise and websites. Following the controlled assessment, we then begin Unit 2 in January. And in this unit, we start to investigate reasons for criminality. So we consider the nature versus nurture debate and ask, are people born criminal or is it in fact the influence of social factors? We focus on a combination of psychological and sociological theories and evaluate the arguments put forward by theorists such as Merton and Freud. We also analyse the role of genetics and biology in how our DNA affects levels of criminality. We evaluate the theories put forward by psychologists such as Sheldon and Lombroso and apply them to specific case studies. Then in Year 13, we come on to Unit 3. In this unit, we examine the various roles and personnel involved in criminal investigations. We assess the different techniques and evaluate how evidence is collected and processed. Students learn about the role of the CPS and understand the trial process in court. They will investigate the use of evidence in legal cases and consider the role of magistrates and juries. Unit four is our final unit. And in unit four, we apply understanding of the awareness of criminality and criminological theories. Um, as a student, you will consider the structure of the criminal justice system and how laws are constructed and implemented. We focus on forms of social control and examine the use of various punishments. So criminology is a new course launching at Blackpool Sixth Form this summer. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, the course itself, why it's so relevant to today and what you might be able to do with it uh, going forward in future. So the first thing to say is that uh, the criminology qualification is not an A-level and it's not a B-tech, it's something that we call a level three applied diploma in criminology. Um, as you can see, it's got four units in total, which are equally weighted towards your final grade. Uh, in the first year, you'll study changing awareness of crime, which is assessed by a controlled assessment in December. Um, and then in May uh, of the first year, you will sit a criminological theories exam. Criminological theories overlaps quite well with the content in sociology. Uh, in the second year, you'll do another controlled assessment unit, and that one's called crime scene to courtroom, which is a more in-depth look at the criminal justice system. And then you will also do an exam on crime and punishment at the end of your second year. 
and that one overlaps a little bit more closely with law. Uh, you can check our website for more details if you want to look in depth at the unit content. The entry criteria follows the standard A-level entry criteria. So that's five grade fives at GCSE you will need at least to get onto the course. And that must include a grade four in GCSE English language. Now, in terms of future destinations, uh, the criminology qualification teaches you a broad range of skills. Um, so there's, uh, as I've uh, already said, it links well with sociology and law, uh, but it's not necessarily the most useful if you want to go and be a lawyer. Uh, this kind of qualification would be more suited to somebody who wants to go and pursue a career in the police force or an apprenticeship in the legal profession. Um, there are some math skills and other social science skills uh, that the qualification does build on. And so it would also be suitable if you want to go and study a degree in a social science or humanities subject at university. Uh, it's also worth saying at this point that the level three applied diploma in criminology is equivalent to one A level in terms of UCAS points. So you won't be disadvantaged in any way if you want to go and study one of those courses by selecting criminology. Now then, I'm going to take you through some sample lesson content from unit one. So that first unit you'd be sitting uh, for your controlled assessment in the first term. Um, I've collected a couple of images um, of protesters. I want you to think um, and consider them for me. Who are these people and what kinds of things are they campaigning for? No doubt you would have seen lots of footage in the media and, on, and online. Um, about these kinds of protests. Um, how would you identify them and what kinds of changes do you think they are campaigning for? Write down as many ideas as you can. Okay, so what kinds of changes could you think of? Um, I've noted down uh, a few that spring to mind. Um, so these people are mainly campaigning uh, under the banner of Black Lives Matter, which is a campaign that Blackpool Sixth Form supports. And uh, they want to see many changes uh, take place uh, in society, not least the raising awareness of police brutality. OK, so obviously we know that uh, this movement kind of exploded this year following the death of George Floyd. Um, and that's just one example of pr uh, police brutality in America. Uh, you know, obviously there are lots and lots of uh, more examples that Black Lives Matter would like to draw our attention to. For example, Breonna Taylor and Trayvon Martin. If you've not heard of these names before, I, I implore you please to look them up and find out about them. Uh, these people might also be campaigning for stronger punishment for people who commit hate crimes. Now, hate crime is a specific type of crime that usually carries with it um, an extended uh, prison sentence. Um, but perhaps uh, in some cases, uh, these hate crimes are not uh, punished to the full extent of the law. And that's why these campaigners would like to see stronger punishment uh, for people who commit those types of crimes. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement are also potentially uh, campaigning for compensation for people subjected to racism and discrimination. Discrimination is a crime um, and it often does go unreported uh, and it's something that we'd like to see less of, obviously. Now, some of the other changes not relating directly to crime, but maybe as a consequence um, of this campaign um, are, well, for one example, more teaching about black history slash slavery in schools. Uh, I'm not sure how aware you are of um, the slave triangle and uh, the British Empire's involvement in the slave trade, uh, but it's certainly something that Black Lives Matter would like us to learn more about uh, as standard in our education system. Uh, and one of the more radical changes being put forward by some people involved with Black Lives Matter involved diverting police funding to other civic budgets. Now, I must say that that's not what everybody is arguing for, and it does sound more extreme. But really, um, these people are 
wanting to discuss the idea that when you perhaps ring 999, it may not always be uh, appropriate for a police officer to come round, especially in America where the police officers are armed. Uh, but maybe it'd be more appropriate for certain types of crime if a trauma counsellor arrived or someone educated in social work. Uh, so I want you to think, um, do any of these changes resonate with you? Are there any changes that Black Lives Matter are supporting uh, that I've missed? Or is there a specific change uh, that you would like to see introduced that nobody else is talking about? What I'd like you to do is to select one of those changes, whether it's one on the previous slide, another one that you've observed, or one that you're particularly passionate about. Uh, and I'd like you to justify campaigning for that change. So what we have to do in our controlled assessment is design a campaign for change. But before we follow it through, we have to uh, do some research and find out how justified campaigning for that change is. OK, so what I'd like you to do is pause the video and write a brief justification for the change that you have chosen. So, like I say, it could be um, stronger sentences for people who commit uh, hate crimes or, you know, any of the other ones that we discussed on the previous slide. Um, and then I would like you to consider these six areas. So. Do you have a personal connection to that type of crime? Is that something you've witnessed or experienced? Um, number two, um, how much of a lack of awareness is there about this crime? Uh, how many people know about it? How many people don't know about it? Uh, number three, uh, can you find any statistics on the uh, number of reported incidences of this crime uh, compared to the potential actual incidences of this crime? Uh, so usually we see an imbalance there. If we're campaigning for change or to raise awareness, then um, it may be that the particular type of crime that we want to see reduced is underreported. And number four is um, an attempt to offer an explanation as to why that crime is generally underreported. Do people feel like they won't be taken seriously if they report that crime or are the prosecutions and sentences for that crime not severe enough and so people don't see the point, for example. Um, I mentioned a couple of examples uh, of police brutality. Um, if you uh, can think of some examples relating to the change that you want to see um, and you want to inform people about particular uh, victims of that kind of crime that they might not know about, I think that's a really effective way to campaign. And then finally, number six, um, are offences of this type or crimes of this type increasing? Uh, can you see that in any statistics that you can find? If you can, try and, try and put them in your justification. So I want you to write a brief justification for the change that you have chosen uh, and include as many of the following points as you can. So pause that video, have a go. What change do you want to see and how far is it justified? OK, now you've done your research um, and you've uh, justified uh, a specific campaign. It's up to you to get creative and to start designing it. So um, I want you to use your creative skills, any um, Photoshop skills, any art skills, any other design skills, uh, and kind of put them to good use and create a memorable poster or logo uh, in order to start your campaign. Um, we obviously need to make sure that our campaign materials are informative and that can help change people's minds. So include some of the information from your justification in your campaign. Finally, I'd like to try and make your campaign memorable by using a slogan or encouraging people to share your campaign. So, um, you know, you might develop a particular hashtag or something that um, really does stick in people's minds that's easy to remember. OK, um, now you don't have to share your campaign on social media, um, but I would really, really like to see some. So if you email your campaign materials to social sciences entries at blackpool6.ac.uk, we will publish the best ones on our website and help get your campaign moving. Uh, obviously, you've got to be really careful not to use any inflammatory language 
or break the rules of your chosen social media platform. Um, so we want to make sure that it's positive, inclusive, and leads towards a positive change. Okay, that's the sample lesson um, over. I would like to point you towards some free taster materials if you're interested in what the rest of the criminology qualification looks like. Um, if you follow this link, you'll be able to see some excellent resources provided by the Napier Press, uh, specifically on Unit 1 and Unit 2, for free. So you'll get a better understanding of what's entailed in the Changing Awareness of Crime Unit and the Criminological Theories Unit. OK, speaking of social media before, I really, really appreciate it if you follow the Social Sciences Department on Facebook. That's at B6FCSSCI or Blackpool Sixth Form College Social Sciences. Uh, you can see the team there um, and we'd really, really love it if you keep in touch with us and obviously direct any questions you might have for us about criminology or any social sciences subject towards that page. OK, if you've had a go at the designing a campaign, um, if you've also had a look at the free materials online and you still want to do more criminology preparation uh, before you start the subject this summer, then I would direct you, please, to the new student hub. Uh, the new student hub uh, incorporates a criminology media project that I've designed. Everybody loves a true crime series at the minute, and it would be a waste if we didn't try and look at some of that media, some of that material out there through a criminology lens and see what we can learn about criminology already just by watching Netflix or listening to the radio or getting on YouTube. OK, so follow that criminology media project uh, and there's uh, a worksheet attached for you to do your own review of a particular piece of criminology media. I'd be looking forward to discussing those with you this summer. Hi all. Thanks so much for joining us um, today for our student um, taster day and um, participating in our activities. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative and that you now have a much better understanding of the subject and the course and what it actually entails. If you've enjoyed the activities that we've done today, you can have a look on our student hub um, where you can find links to uh, wider resources, um, lots of media links to documentaries um, and different projects that you might like to have a go at. Um, there's also our Facebook page and obviously our website um, that you can go on to find out a little bit more or to get in touch with us. Um, please do get in touch with us if you have any further questions. And if not, I hope to, um, or we hope to welcome you to Blackpool 6 at some point in the near future. Thank you.